In this video, we'll be seeing the concept of Middenhofs and does it look same half a turn, one fourth turn, one third turn and one sixth turn. Middenhofs. If you fold any figure along the dotted line, then if one half will cover the other half completely, that is, if a figure is folded along a line such that both parts coincide, for example, you all know what is this? This is a starfish, isn't it? This is a starfish and what have placed along that have placed a dotted line. This is what is given here. If you fold any figure along the dotted line, so have placed a dotted line now and we have to fold it to show the folding have separated and shown you but when we take any object we have to just fold it ok and when we fold it along the dotted line and if it covers the other half completely so in this image it is covering exactly so no it's uh, the both halves are covering exactly that is the both parts are coinciding then the figure is said to be symmetrical then we call these figures as symmetrical along the folded line means the line where we have folded if both halves completely coincide that is they cover each other then that figure we call it as symmetrical along that folded line and that line is called as line of symmetry this line is called as line of symmetry and those two are called as mirror halves then the both parts when we, if we close it at that dotted line or the line which is placed and if it exactly covers then that is called a symmetrical figure and that line is known as line of symmetry and the two parts in that are called as mirror halves. If we cut the figure along the line of symmetry, okay. Now let's see the figure is given here. We have taken the line of symmetry. Line of symmetry means which di uh, divides exactly into half, okay. Now we have divided it into, we have cut it along the line of symmetry. And if we place the part in front of the mirror, its reflection completes the figure. So here you can see I have placed a mirror and one part I have placed in front of the mirror. Along the line of symmetry only we have to cut it and I have placed it in front of the mirror. So what happens in mirror when we stand, if we stand our reflection falls in the mirror. Yes or no? Similarly if we keep any object the reflection of that object will fall and that or uh, uh, reflection will complete the figure okay now here the mirror is a line of symmetry in the before image as we saw the dotted lines is the line of symmetry here the mirror which is there this is the line of symmetry for the complete figure hence one half is called the mirror image of its other half that's why what we see one half this one half is called mirror image of the other half now line of symmetry the line which divides the figure into two equal parts is called line of symmetry for example I have taken one triangle now if I make a line in between and even if it divides into two equal parts in triangle now I have divided like this so is this divided into two equal parts or not exactly two equal parts it is divided then it is called a line of symmetry and one more example I have taken an x mass 3 and exactly in between if I do it then it is also divided into two equal parts and that line is called as line of symmetry. Now let's look at some geometrical shapes that have symmetry. Now I have taken a square. Now let's see whether this has a symmetry or not. A square when folded along the sides. Now this I am folding along horizontal. 
okay this is horizontal line and this is vertical line yes or no now first if i fold it along horizontal check it fold it along horizontal is it covering completely yes then it has symmetry now let's see vertical it is also covering then that is also having symmetry so a square when folded along the sides let it be horizontal or vertical it is having symmetry now a square when folded along diagonal diagonal means this have given you dotted lines na diagonal then that also has symmetry you can cut a small square shape and you can check exactly horizontally you fold and see it will be covered equally exactly vertically you see it will be covered now you do like vertical you do like for a boat na like that do it like a vertical uh, sorry diagonally then also it has symmetry how oh, symmetrical figure with more than one line of symmetry now till now i have shown you one line of symmetry see this is uh, another line of symmetry this is another line of symmetry for this figure so no if you fold like this also it covers exactly if you fold like this also it like covers exactly so for figures we can have more number of line of symmetry also now oh, mirror halves with alphabets now if we consider the alphabets we can make mirror halves with alphabets also so if i take this alphabet a okay and i'm keeping a line here that is i'm cutting it here and then i place a mirror in front here then what happens exactly the mirror half will be formed in the mirror and it completes the figure so you can check for what all we can have the mirror halves a and we a uh, few will be horizontal and few will be vertical see this is vertical and this is horizontal because if we cut it like this okay if we cut the mirror uh, like this b will it become the mirror half no because if i cut like this again in the mirror that straight line only will come this shape doesn't complete so what are the mirror halves formed a b c d e for f we cannot get g also we cannot get like that we cannot get for j l p q r s and z okay now half a turn if we take a circle and exactly divide it into two halves we have taken a circle and exactly divided it into two halves now has shown to sh uh, the two halves have given it different colors okay like this when we did in the fractions you can see in my introduction to the fractions so we say that each part is 1 by 2 now we will see regarding half a turn okay so when we divide into half and if we place any object in between and when it covers from this side to this side then we say it as half a turn okay children now let's see the example now i've taken one arrow and for a half a turn what did i told you it should come from here to here so when we make it into half a turn what is happening because that arrow will move like this like that like this and it comes here so what will happen the arrow is pointing downwards now before the arrow was pointing upwards now it is pointing downwards now let's see one more example I have kept one uh, object in between okay now yellow is top and bottom orange are on both sides now let's do half a turn for that if we do half a turn what is happening same yellow is coming down and orange is going to the side okay and as you have learned angles also half a turn means whole angle is 360 so half of 360 180 so when it covers from here to here it will cover 180 degrees now letters in the english alphabet that look same after half a turn let's see the alphabets which look similar after half a turn if i place a in the circle for example i see if you don't know how to make a turn do a circle like that and then make it a turn okay children now if i place a and make a half a turn 
that is moving from that position to this position then it will be like that. Now, let us check for all the alphabet and see the letters in the English alphabet that look same for after half a turn. So, you are able to see I am doing half a turn. So, like this only in your books you have to do ok exactly half a turn you have to check it and half a turn means what happens the letters get reversed exactly half a turn means the letters totally gets reversed you have to write it in the reverse diffram. Now, what you have seen what all alphabets are remaining C H yes or no H I and then all these are different N is it same yes O then yes then x and last z so all these alphabets after of a turn of a turn means exactly you will write the opposite you are inverting it back then you will get it now one four turn one four turn is dividing a circle into four parts ok one four turn is so then it will be one fourth yes or no in fractions we learn then each part will be one fourth. So, one four turn means even if you divide a circle into four parts the point from here to here the turn when it comes from here to here then it will be one four turn for example let us see an example I have taken an arrow and one four turn means I have to move that arrow I have to move this arrow from here to it have to move like this like this and it has to come here. So, how will be that now it will be like this. So, what turn is this called one fourth turn half a turn means it has to come till here one fourth turn means it will come till here for your easy if objects are given you do not know how to turn draw a circle like this and then make a turn. Now, this object have taken where two blues are there a fan is there two blues are on top and two yellows are on the side. Now, let us do one four turn for this one four turn means what I said from here this has to move here. So, what happens this blue color it will move from here and will come till here. So, similarly the whole object will move yes or no. So, let us see the movement. Are you able to see the moment? So, now what happened is the object same? No, why it is not same? Because when we have moved it, it is changing ok. Now, let us see one more example I have taken one triangle ok. Now, this triangle is pointing here onto the top. Now, if I move it like this, so what is happening before? the triangle was like this the point was on to the top now it has become like this the pointing is to here now next now one third turn so one third turn means when we divide the circle into three equal parts then when the object moves from this point to this point then it will cover one third turn ok children first we have seen half a turn it is divided into two parts exactly half it is covering then we have seen one fourth that is when a circle is divided into four parts from one point to the next part when it comes that is one fourth turn now that is this called one third turn or one by three turn ok now next I have kept the arrow similarly like before examples and it has to move from where from here to here. So, when we move it what is happening the arrow is coming to the downside. Now, now for example, I have kept one shape here ok. Now, this is the shape which I have kept here the pointing the triangle is pointing top and here the triangle is pointing down. Now, if I do exactly one third, so one third means what happens this will move from this point and come till here let us see what is happening. Now, it is taking exactly one third turn have taken and see what are the changes any changes are there the triangle was top here here the triangle was pointing down here the triangle is pointing up here the triangle is pointing down. So, everything is same 
is there any change in the shape now no now so this is called as one third turn now let's see one sixth turn one sixth turn is when we divide a circle into six parts one two three four five six now we have divided the circle into six parts and when it covers from this point to this point from this point to this point then it is called as one sixth turn children now for example we'll keep an arrow we'll make a move then what is this called one sixth turn from here it has moved till here okay this one sixth turn will be little bit difficult for you when the objects are given to you to draw so draw one circle keep the object in between and try to turn and see now the same object which i placed that time have placed it here and let's see what are the changes so now what has happened see before the triangle was pointing up and this triangle was pointing down but now the triangle is pointing up and the middle triangle is also pointing up but in one third turn it was same but when we did one six turn because this was the original one when six turn what happened this is coming to this place yes or no so that time this middle portion will move to this so this point will move to here so that's why it has a change now i think you all understood what is one third turn one fourth turn one six turn half a turn and what is a mirror half yes thank you